While I normally take a coverage-focused approach to countering most of the popular offensive metas in Madden 23, today's video is going to show you guys a setup that I like to utilize occasionally out of the big nickel over G that will help you gas up those tight formations. So whether you struggle with tight offset, regular tight, tight doubles, tight flex, under center, two by two tight, I'm going to show you guys a way that can really gas up these formations and make your opponents have to make quick decisions rather than throwing corner routes. Let's get into it. What is up guys, Dan from the Zan Madden YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to blitz effectively against two by two compression formations out of my favorite defense, which is the big nickel over G. Now, before we get too deep into today's video, I do wanna let you guys know that I have a comprehensive big nickel over G defensive game plan on my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. Over there on Gridiron Game Plans, for $9.95 a month, you guys unlock everything on the website. That includes the over G game plan, the match game plan that I will run out of the over G because it has all of the match coverage plays, and also all kinds of other vault updates with coverage tips that you guys can employ inside of this defense to help lock down all these tight metas. Now, you guys know that I've done a huge, huge, huge amount of content on coverage against some of these most popular metas, whether it be tight or bunch or trips tight end. However, I haven't done a whole lot here on the YouTube channel blitzing out of various formations. So I want to kind of fuse together a couple of different metas and give you guys an alternative towards coverage approach Madden. So let's go ahead and get into this here. Uh, with today's video, we've got a couple of different options available to us. We can choose to leave the big nickel over G in its stock state, which has a safety in the slot. This safety can be somebody that you actually sub in a corner if you guys want to, but this is considered a safety position. Then the other two up top safeties make this the three safety rule. We've talked about this basically in every coverage video I've done because this is something that I will utilize to get some pretty crazy zones that I will put out on the field that allows you to cover deep and kind of change your opponent's viewing angles of the way the coverage is dispersing. So you guys can use that, or what you can do is flick the stick over to the left one time to activate the CB slot package. This is going to make the game think that there is an actual corner in the nickel safety position, which reverts the coverage rules back to two safety rules, which are the conventional coverage adjustments that most players are used to with other formations in the game. I'm gonna choose in this video to stay in the three safety rule because that's what I personally use the most. So what we're gonna do here is break the huddle. Now, personally, I do utilize the AKA rushers because I do a lot of coverage stuff. So my base rush is the most important element of this particular defense. Now in this video, you guys do not have to worry about utilizing AKA rushers. In fact, I'm going to take those guys off the field. I do want to let you know, however, that the AKA rushers, when they're glowing, make this particular video so much better because the offensive line targets those guys differently, which is going to allow you to bring some pretty crazy pressure. Now, what we're going to be setting up here today is going to be kind of a fusion of a couple of different metas. Uh, basically, the slot blitz meta that you guys have become accustomed to out of dollar fused together with the four defensive linemen approach that that makes the offensive line really pinch inside, which is popular out of defenses such as the 4-3, even 6-1, and the dime normal. So with this particular defense, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna utilize the show blitz feature. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna turn this into a double slot package. And with this particular package, this is a single high look, but your corners stay in off alignment. Now, as I mentioned, when you do this, sometimes the guys will crisscross, but that's okay. We're gonna be utilizing those slot players as basically blitzers in this particular defense. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna blitz both of those slot players. So if we take a look here at our play art, this is obviously not the final result, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this out into a cover three. So when we take a look at this, I put the outside corners into thirds, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose whichever linebacker I do not want to use her. And you've got a choice to put him in a curl flat, which will kind of hang out over the middle and then jump out to the flat a little bit later in the play. Or you could put him in a hard flat, which is gonna fly out quickly into the flat. You guys can choose whatever you wanna do with this, it's up to you. 
Uh, but I do not recommend hooks because what we're going to be doing here with this is we're going to take our defensive tackles and we're going to drop them into hooks as well. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are saying. This seems like a lot of setup. It kind of is, but it's really not. I'll go through this here momentarily in our next rep to show you how quickly you can really set this up. And you can choose better plays to do this out of as well. Like, for instance, cover three. That would be something that you could set this up out of. But what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to take our linebacker and we're going to kind of mimic the dime or the four three even six one meta which is basically a six across we got one two three four five and six this is going to allow us to mug the center and this is going to make it really really difficult for any tight formation to block this blitz so if you kind of just stand here and hold the left trigger you're gonna see that these guys fly in off the edge and the running back blocks to the dead middle of the field so this is something that is really hard to block and it allows you to really just send four players and uh, get pressure on the quarterback now as i mentioned you guys can call this out of a cover three shell this is going to make it so you don't have to drop everybody in deep zones um but let's go ahead and set this up again here all we have to do is really just show blitz um you actually see right here with cover three, what it does is it walks this player down. So if you want to, you can actually go ahead and uh, run cover three flipped and then do your show blitz. And then you probably will just walk these guys down to the edge. So there is a small thing that you'll have to do when you run this, but it's a lot easier to just move these guys down, crash up, and then put these guys into their vert hooks. So you put Donald into the left vert hook, you put Grave Digger into the right vert hook, you choose to drop this guy into a hard flat, and then you're just gonna stand right here. Again, with this blitz pickup, the running back should look to the middle of the field, which is gonna allow you to get that pressure off the edge, which will fluster the quarterback. Sometimes it's gonna come in clean, other times it may take um, a little bit of time for him to loop around. Again, all these metas are predicated on confusing the offensive line, as well as kind of instilling a little fear in your opponent. So it's okay if it doesn't come in clean. A lot of times they're gonna be on a timer. They're not gonna have time to roll out. They're not gonna be able to really wait for a corner route to get wide open. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as well. But again, if you want to with this, you can show blitz, you know, just walk this guy down, blitz this, uh, blitz both your slot corners. I call them boundary safeties, just because they're kind of like, um, they're not really slot corners in the two, four, five. You, you kind of have a double safety look. And uh, this is kind of a, um, a staple of what Gary Patterson used to do at TCU. Obviously not with the Maddenized uh, setup for this, but in general, you're gonna see here that these guys do uh, tend to come in. Now, if you're struggling with this out of a base cover three, this is why I much prefer to do this out of the cover two. I just think it flies in better in a cover two shell. So note here when I audible to a cover two and then I show blitz and I do it this way, we're already done. So like I did this in about eh, three seconds. Uh, takes a little bit of time, but not too bad. Three seconds to really set that up. Um, you know, you obviously have plenty of time if you're not inside the two minute warning. But again, when you snap this, you see how it flies in out of the cover two shell for some reason. So if you can actually customize this out of the cover two shell, you're gonna be in much, much better position. Now, I do wanna end this up by just kind of letting you guys know that you don't necessarily have to blitz both slots. Um, if you really want to, you can actually go ahead and uh, set up your defense, you know, like this, you know, put this guy into a vert hook. You could actually still rush for like this. This is a great way to still bring pressure. You don't have to bring both sides. Again, you see this guy comes in, makes the quarterback, you know, uh, re you could be put reach elite on your guy. And that would probably be something that you could get a sack with. I've seen corners that do get reach elite for free. So that might be a special specialty role within your defense that you guys could utilize. But that is today's video, guys. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, support, complaints, drop those below. Definitely utilize this against tight meta because, again, with the running back blocking, they're confused. They step up into the middle. Everything comes in off the edge around them. This is a great blitz meta that you guys can mix in against the tight in addition to all the coverage stuff that I have that completely shuts down this meta. Make sure you guys check out the tight killer shell on Gridiron Game Plans and make sure you check out the rest of the content out of the OverG on Gridiron in addition to everything else for just $9.95. Otherwise, we'll see you guys right back here tomorrow with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab in. Good luck.